tax relief is important to every family, and I will continue to deliver more property tax relief to working families. This is Carolyn Bosin, and I am asking for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Bosin for Legislature. Spring is a time of new beginnings and trying new things. If you haven't tried Fear's Cheese Spread yet, the time is now. For parties for St. Patrick's Day and Easter, or celebrating the NCAA tournament with friends, there's no better dip to bring everyone together and celebrate something from Nebraska. Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fear's Cheese Spread. No event or party is complete without it on your table. Liberty Law Group is committed to the defense of liberty for those accused and the pursuit of justice for those injured. Liberty Law Group's relentless trial attorneys specialize in criminal defense and personal injury law. Navigating the legal system can be stressful, overwhelming, and full of uncertainty. Liberty Law Group is here to do the heavy lifting for you. We believe in treating every client with respect and understanding. When you're in need of legal assistance, trust Liberty Law Group to fight for you. Call 877-42-LIBERTY. That's 877-42-LIBERTY. Bagels and Joe is the perfect place for breakfast or lunch in April. Try their brand new cake batter cream cheese on any breakfast sandwich. And try the caramel latte as 10% of proceeds from that drink will go to the Foundation for Lincoln Public Schools. Four locations in Lincoln and one in Seward, Bagels and Joe. Hey Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. This is Coach Bill Bush. You all know my passion for Nebraska. Having coached all over the country, I can honestly say there is no place like Nebraska. You know where there's also no place like? Midwest Bank. Midwest Bank has proudly served Nebraska for over 70 years, and they're located in nine different communities. Midwest Bank is ready, willing, and able to meet all your personal, business, and agriculture needs. Your community, your bank, and mine, Midwest Bank. Find out more at Midwest Bank. Member F-D-I-C. Tune in every Wednesday night from 9 to 10 p.m. for the Malone Radio Show on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Don't miss the opportunity to learn about the Malone Community Center's goal to eliminate multi-generational poverty in Lincoln and the surrounding area. It's the Malone Radio Show with Executive Director John Goodwin and Sports Director Mike Hunter. Every Wednesday night from 9 to 10 p.m. on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Spring sports are here and it's time to upgrade your equipment. But don't go rush into your big box store. Play It Again Sports is your place to go for all spring sports equipment for baseball, softball, golf, and disc golf. Play It Again Sports has quality, slightly to gently used equipment, and 50% of their inventory is actually new equipment. And don't forget, buying from them is a great way to get new products with great discounts by also bringing in your used items for store credit or cash on the spot. Play It Again Sports at 48th and Vine. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox, KFXL Weather, sponsored by John Henry's Plumbing, Heating, and Air Conditioning. Your weekly forecast for today, we'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds, acting high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with calm winds, below around 40, and tomorrow we'll see mainly sunny skies and more than mild temperatures, and acting high around 70. I'm your meteorologist Kyle Hutter from 93.7 The Ticket and the TicketFM.com. Hey, Nebraska! Register today for the 40th annual Cornhusker State Games, taking place July 11th through the 21st in Lincoln, Omaha, and other Nebraska communities. The Cornhusker State Games features 70 sports for athletes of all ages and abilities. Price increases are approaching, so register early and save. For details, go to CornhuskerStateGames.com. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel with Gatorade. Brought to you by Pepsi Cola of Lincoln, a proud partner of the Cornhusker State Games. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Welcome. 
Welcome to The Drive with A.D. Raff and Amon Green. Former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship! Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history, Chris Rath. 25 straight wins for the Court Huskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football from that 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shuttle pass to Green, and the Vikings territory finally brought now, University of Nebraska eSports coach, Amon Green. Look at Green, all by himself. 20, 10, touchdown. <laughs> Brought to you by Sand Hills Global on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. <laughs> All right, everybody, we are back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. The first hour of The Drive is proudly sponsored by Sand Hills Global. Sand Hills Global is looking to fill hundreds of new openings in sales, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Career and internship opportunities are available at the Global Headquarters in Lincoln. Apply today at sandhills.jobs. Got it. Boom. And let me start off this show by saying this. Watch out for the Kansas City Royals. <laughs> Five straight that is victories. That is true. Salvador Perez with a walk-off last night. Kansas City is going crazy. I mean, they're going to lose their football team. They might as well get behind their baseball team. <laughs> well, yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, honestly, the, the, the baseball team is kind of up in, up in question, too. But, no, I mean, you're right. <laughs> they're so, all going. Five, five straight wins. And uh, guess who the Royal affil- affiliate is? 93.7 the ticket so there Boom. you go um if every every single royals game and uh thrilling walk-off victory you can catch right here on 93.7 the ticket um best starting rotation in baseball yeah i can't say royals w- one of the worst bullpens in baseball though so Who needs them? there's that well there's a lot of people needing them especially <laughs> nebraska baseball, baseball after last night yeah it was gracious and Kansas City was terrible last year too, weren't they? Oh, yeah, yeah, they atrocious. Yeah, they were bad last year. Not Oakland bad, but they were not far off, were they? Yeah, uh, they're in that range, I would say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think they were around the seventy win mark or so. But I, I think also they made a long term commitment to one of their best young players that they've had in a long time, and that's Bobby Witt Jr. Mm. Um, and then you know they they made that commitment for ten years to him and started boosting that bullpen, but it obviously did not work right now. So we'll see what happens. Royals baseball, Royals baseball, making some a charge. of the most exhilarating stuff out there. Well, I saw, what was it? Um, was it yesterday they won? And it was like the first time they'd been over 500 in like two years or something oh, like yeah, that. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. So, I'm sure. I mean, Kansas City's going crazy right now. Hmm. Championship City. Well, that, that one was good. And then I, the Cubs Uh-oh. ended up uh, blowing a lead two nights oh, ago. They no. blew an 8-0 to zero lead two nights ago. Um, they lost 9-8. to eight. Last night, they had a grand slam, won 5-1 to one in San Diego against the Padres. Hello. So, they're they're doing just fine. On, hey, Chicago, on, what do you say? On track to uh to eventually win the NL Central. They're going to be just fine. So, anyway, AD, how's your baseball team? Uh, you know the Pittsburgh Pirates. I'm not sure. You know, well, I, Willie Stargell started off the season hitting 400. <laughs> did he? You know, I did he? they they, did signed, they I signed think him, they, they signed him to a new contract. You know what? Pops. I don't I don't follow baseball. I mean, I, I watch on Sports Center, and when it gets to the playoffs is when I start watching. I'm not watching 162 games. Can't keep up with 162 games, man. It's just it's it's just too many. See, I, I purchase as I have the last couple of years the MLB TV. Mm-hmm. So that way I can whenever if I if I see yeah. any game where it's like, oh, no hitter, boom, I turn it on. Mm-hmm. Or Oh, the Cubs are, are up three to one. Boom. How are the Mets? On. How are the Mets doing? I can tell you right now. Have they won? Well, I the know, Mets just lost last I night. I know they were like started out like one and six or something. Mets like just this. lost last night. They are four and seven this season. Four and seven. Because we've got to have a Mets night one of these nights, Nick. I'm gonna have to introduce you to the New York Mets garage. Hey, unknown really? text. You're gonna love it. 764. Thanks. Pirates are nine and three. David, but man, what's happening, right, Dave? Dave Renews says Pirates are first in their division, nine and three. Look at that, yeah. AD. Well, well, I'm gonna start wearing my P hat. 
Yep. <laughs> I always love the pirates. And it's not public enemy. It's pirates. There you go. I always love the pirates. You know what, man? My brother Mark follows them, I think, a lot closer than I do. My cousins in Pittsburgh, of course, they follow them quite a bit. Um, but I, I'll start later. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's so early in the have season. You, right? Have you ever been to PNC Park? In Pittsburgh, yeah, driven by it a number of times, but never. I it. that is that is on my list of par of parks that like I want to go in and experience yeah. a baseball game in because the skyline is it's beautiful, so yeah. cool yeah. behind it with the, with the with the bridge as well. Yeah, it's incredible. Well, they got a thing in Pittsburgh too called the incline. Okay, and it's it's a thing to where it goes upside this this huge hill, and you can see the whole city. Oh, three sweet. rivers where the old three river stadium used to be at. They had a thing called the good ship lollipop. We would get wow. on the ship and you'd go up and down the. The different rivers and Shirley stuff. Temple, yeah, man, yeah, the good ship lollipop. I don't know the rest of the words, so that was always with a good time. choreography. <laughs> hey, I want to read this. Real quick. I, you know what? I know I'm gonna read, I'll read this and I'll read it at break when we come back. So I want to make sure I can go over it uh, properly. You guys, I'm gonna ask you this Would you rather, because since we're just kind of like rapping right now, as we always do, of course, AG, uh, the Hall of Famer is out, he's always out on Wednesdays, uh, taking care of biz. Would you rather? Have no heat in your car or no air conditioner? Uh, <laughs> Text line, let us know. Oh, if man. you had to do without one or the other, would you rather go with no heat in your car or no air conditioner? What would you go, Nick? I, I would go no AC. No AC. I would go no AC. You can, you can Rico, roll what about you? Down. What would you go, Rico? AC? No heat? No heat. No heat. I, here's the deal. is Because you can roll the windows down. Yeah. You yeah. can roll the windows down. You can get a, a nice warm breeze. If you roll the windows down, if it's hot outside, yeah. nice warm breeze. I, yeah, no, it, the the no heat part th that would be brutal in winter. Rico, what'd you do? No heat, no AC. I did. Wow, that is loud. Um, <laughs> I did no AC um, for a summer once when I was driving from Kearney to here for internship, mm. and no. No, driving on the interstate. You can't put your window down on the interstate. You could. Just no. don't want any papers yeah. flying no, around. That's a bad idea. You'll be blind that's by the time you get to, I don't yeah. know. The wind, is, the wind is killing your ears and killing your eyes. Yeah. No, it's, I'd rather do no heat. I'll be what fine. About like, I'll, winter, I'll wear my, I'll wear, look, I'll wear my, my jacket and I'll wear my, my pants, everything. Like, I'm good to go. Yeah. I'm fine. I'll, I'll stay warm enough. I don't know, man. You shake enough, you start warming up. Okay. Raph, where would you go? Jeez. Hold on one second. Where I go no, no heat. Or no yeah, no air condition. No, no, AC. no air condition. Because, like I said, you can roll down the window. And See, yeah. I no, like to look cool and how the a lot breeze of folks, blowing through my hair. A lot of folks are saying easy, no AC, no AC for sure. Somebody makes a good point. If you have don't if you don't have heat, you don't have a windshield to frost. Ooh. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'll be fine. I'm letting you know right now. I'm going with I, I can deal without the heat. I'm I'll just throw a bunch of socks on because I'm sorry, without well, yeah, without the heater. Without the heater. I yeah. gotta have some AC, man. because wow. look last year. We're going up to a condo in Colorado. Mm -hmm. AC went out. Dang. It was going off, going in. That yeah. was the, in fact, the kids didn't even roll back. It's like, nah, dad, we're going to roll back with Maddie <laughs> and we're going to roll back over there. <laughs> we good. You got in there this. sweating like a mutt. You know, first of all, I'm driving through Colorado, you know, coming back from the mountains. And first of all, it was cool when Colorado wasn't bad because, you know, it was going on and off and mm -hmm. it was a lot cooler. Once we got into, we started getting to like, um, maybe 15 miles outside Nebraska, and that humidity kicked in, mm -hmm. it was ridiculous. I mean, you're just pissed off driving. We had just our, mad. We had our AC go out last summer, and it was not great. Mm. It was not great. Mm. But I think I'd still rather I think I'd still rather have heat. Or Which one did I say? You said no AC. No. You'd say you'd rather have no heat. You said no heat. You said no heat. You said no heat. Yeah, I need AC. This is how I know Rico's not strong in his beliefs is because he doesn't even remember what he said. <laughs> Rico doesn't remember what he said. Well, because he's making good points. Yeah, man, I'm telling you. It, it's, a good, it, it is, it is he's a good talker. It is miserable. Like he does I mean, it for a living. Think about cold really doesn't make you mad. Cold just kind of. Oh, no. Cold, talk. cold pisses me off. Uh, heat. Met, teach their own, though. Heat. Well, you telling me I don't have a right to feel pissed off at the heat? <laughs> no, the cold, I mean. no, you do not. How dare you? How dare you be pissed at the cold? Just, yeah. You can always, you can do something to combat the cold. You dress warm. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing you can do to combat the heat because even you roll the window down, all it is hot, hot air blowing but at it's, you. It's, it's something blowing at you. Is it really relief though, Nick, or is it in your head? 
I don't know. Are, are you really getting warmer? Yes, you know, your head you, physically, your body will show that you're physically getting warm because <laughs> you keep the heat in because all the clothing. <laughs> your body would. I don't know. I don't know. Temperature don't know. Right, don't know. You, get, you get real hot. Things start happening. Man. Now I don't know who's arguing what anymore. <laughs> I'm like, I are you lost too, Raph? I'm up to that heat, cold. cold I, yeah, heat. I don't remember who's doing what. I don't know. I'd rather go with no AC. I'm so, sorry. I, I'm sorry. See, no heat. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's no, confused. He likes to wear no, layers. I'd rather go with no, okay. with no heat. Would you rather be hot or cold in your car? I'd rather be cold. I'd there we go. Cold. Yeah. AD's a man of so layers. Everybody wants yeah. the AC. I'd there rather, we go. I'd rather, I'd rather always, you can always, yeah. my mom always there said, if you're too warm, you can always take clothes off. Yeah. Jacket, sweater. If, if, first of all, if you didn't bring enough, you're just going to be freezing. With heat, I mean, would you be riding buck naked? Yes. Hello. Hey. No, you're, just, you're just riding with the windows down. Plus, furious. Plus, you're how, sweating. How, how, are you, mad. how are you even going to drive if you don't have a defroster? If you, if you can't defrost the windows, how do those windows defrost in 10 degree weather? That's why you need heat. That's my point. Yeah. See, I don't know. See, you. I, I feel don't, like we've had a switch. Up. I don't know yeah. who's arguing what anymore. I think we've had a switch. Up. I think we, we made a switch. Up. We did make a flip. I, I, do, do, do you understand? I, I think we had a switch. Up. <laughs> See? Oh, I can always throw hot water in the windshield. I'm, there you go. Oh, good. That's boy. Right. <laughs> I'll bust my windshield. Don't have to worry about it. Uh, fog anymore. No, no, worry. Yeah. Don't Just wear your sunglasses. Wear a ski uh, ski mask. You're good yeah. to go. All right. So on the text line, we got we got quite a few different ones here. I don't know who's arguing. Let me see. Anymore. Yeah. Uh, unknown texture 6881 said, Oh, Ben, what's up, Ben? Ben said, Easy, no AC. Uh, unknown texture 0996, 0996 says, No heat equals no windshield. Mm, mm -hmm. 0795 says, Are we stuck in traffic? Mm. Uh, that does change it up a little bit. No breeze. That does change it up a little bit. We'll come back to more of these in a second. When is there ever no breeze, though? I mean, you're talking about like two days out of the year that there's no. Breeze. Yeah, but it's always yeah. but it's if always those there, two days and it's also 100 degrees and a, like 95 percent humidity. I don't know, man. If you're sitting there, you'll be able to be um, fine. Let <laughs> me read this. This is pretty cool right here. Our, our good friend uh, from Team Jack, Mark Birch. Good morning, brother. He goes, someone is going to win this sweet 72 Corvette today with no AC in parentheses put. <laughs> <laughs> but put the pop, put the top down to be cool or the winner can take a cool 30,000 in cash. Thanks for your help, guys. We got to nice. $185,850. Again, for Team Jack, yeah, $185,850. Folks, thank you so much. Mark Birch, thank you. And your team goes, thanks, Rav, AD, and AG. Mark Birch, Mark Birch, thank you for what you do. Man, that is pretty awesome. awesome. Now, that one, that ride right there you see on there, I wouldn't need no AC for that one. Or and that, that thing is pretty sweet yeah. right there, man. You're probably not taking that on an icy road. Uh, no, you keep that in the in the garage. Nice road trucker. <laughs> Ferris Bueller's day off. Reverse yeah. the miles. See, Keith Tenney, no AC. It's like a free sauna session. <laughs> in in all of your clothes. I hear you, KT. Yeah, every, everything will be saunted up. <laughs> exactly. Unknown Texture 3187 out of 71 Volkswagen. Super Beetle in high school. Windows down year round. Scraper and teeth to uh, scraper and teeth to scrape inside of windows. At stoplights. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> you turn on the lights because you couldn't see me or something, Nick. What's up with that, man? Oh, yeah. boy. No, I, I couldn't. Here see. we go again. <laughs> well, first off, you're wearing all black. <laughs> oh, no, no. I wear all black every day, man or brother. I know. <laughs> but you're actually clothed. Black on, black on, black on, black on, black on, black on, black on. I think that's the out music, Raph. No, it's a break. <laughs> Time to throw it a break. Uh, this is the drive oh on 93.7 The Ticket. <laughs> The fans of Kansas Speedway know how to have a good time. One that celebrates fantastic finishes oh, and family-friendly facilities. Trading paint. We got beauty. And tailgating tradition. Burnouts, beer, and barbecue. Oh, it'll for sure be a good time. And you are all invited. NASCAR weekend at Kansas Speedway, May 4th and 5th. Get your tickets now at kansasspeedway.com. Take your internet service to new levels with Allo, your award-winning internet provider across our fiber hoods. Allo isn't just about the fastest internet available. It's about connecting you to your world, work, and play seamlessly. Our award-winning service ensures affordable, secure, and reliable connectivity, setting us apart. Ready to transform your internet experience? Experience the fiber difference today. Sign up now at allofiber.com. Allo. 
connecting your world. Liberty Law Group is committed to the pursuit of justice for those that have been injured. My name is Eric Hagan, attorney with Liberty Law Group. If you've been injured in an accident that wasn't your fault, call 877-42-LIBERTY. Our detail-oriented trial attorneys are committed to the highest quality legal representation. At Liberty Law Group, we will fight for you. Call 877-42-LIBERTY. Once again, that's 877-42-LIBERTY. Step into healing at Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery. Our team of top-notch medical professionals turns pain into progress with state-of-the-art treatments and compassionate care. Visit prairieortho.com and discover the difference in quality orthopedic and plastic surgery services tailored to your unique needs. Your health matters and Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery is dedicated to helping you thrive. Reach your full potential. Embrace a better tomorrow with Prairie Orthopedic and Plastic Surgery. Garage doors can be expensive. Are you keeping yours in the best condition possible? This is Cameron Hall with Doors Plus. Doors Plus is a locally owned business that prides itself on the fast, reliable, and friendly service. Doors Plus offers flexible scheduling so you can book an appointment that fits your busy day. My team and I will come out to your property, both commercial and residential, and provide you with the necessary information you need to make sure your garage door is in working and smooth condition. Give Doors Plus a call today at 402 590 5800 to book an appointment and learn more about our preventative maintenance plans. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. It's officially one of the greatest weeks of the year on the sports calendar Masters Week. Book your tea time today with friends, family, or co workers at Double Eagle Golf inside the Kinetic Sports Complex on West O Street. Doors open at 10 a.m. from Thursday to Sunday, and they'll have food directly from Augusta National, like pimento cheese sandwiches, Georgia pecan caramel popcorn and lots more, plus specialty drinks to get you in the mood for the greatest golf tournament in the world. Book a bay today at doubleeagle.golf. At Doan University, we build leaders, and that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours, and our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. Hey, Nebraska. Register today for the 40th annual Cornhusker State Games, taking place July 11th through the 21st in Lincoln, Omaha, and other Nebraska communities. The Cornhusker State Games features 70 sports for athletes of all ages and abilities. Price increases are approaching, so register early and save. For details, go to CornhuskerStateGames.com. Rehydrate, replenish, refuel with Gatorade. Brought to you by Pepsi-Cola of Lincoln, a proud partner of the Cornhusker State Games. Hey guys, Jake Sorensen here from Early Break. The garage door at our house has been needing replacement for a couple years, and a few months ago, we finally did something about it. Steve's Garage Doors and Services was great through the whole process in providing options and also going to the next level to get a door that was approved by our HOA. And best of all, the removal of the old door and installation of the new door was done smoothly with no issues. Call Steve's Garage Doors and Services today at 402-480-2840. Banking should feel personal, not intimidating. At Western National Bank, we're about real connections, founded by two ordinary guys with an extraordinary vision to know each and every customer personally. Fees, they suck. Avoid all fees with Western National Bank's Compass Checking Account. No monthly fees, no minimum balances, and get this, 5.12 APY on the first $1,000. Open your Compass Checking Account online in five minutes or less at mywnb.com. Experience the difference with Western National Bank. Visit mywnb.com, member FDIC. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. 
Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. Sand Hills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we are back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. Interesting piece of information just came out from Adam Schefter. The Philadelphia Eagles will be playing the Green Bay Packers in Sao Paulo, Brazil uh, to start the season Friday, September 6th, the Friday. day after the season kicks off on the Thursday night. So they're just going to take over Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Yep, the opening weekend. All right. Sao Paulo, Brazil. So I guess if you're a Packers or an Eagles fan, you're going to have to make your... Make the, make the pilgrimage. Brazil! I think that's how... I'm sure the, the, the guys are excited about that game. <laughs> Not Brazil. I, it's it's part of still the NFL's you know desire, I suppose, to uh, expand overseas, right? They're, they're just continuing to grow their brand. They go, every, I mean, everywhere. We've seen Mexico City. Yeah. We've seen Germany. We've seen now Brazil. So I think Spain the, is somewhere. The, I, I get that they're trying to expand, and I know they want to take over the world. I understand this. But... It's got to be frustrating if you're an Eagles fan or a Packers fan losing a home game. Yeah, you you you, you know, Rob, you've mentioned that in the past, and I I agree with you in that. It's like okay, I understand the expansion of the game to a point. First of all, what are you going to have NFL Brazil? Eventually, probably. You know, but it's like why? I I I just I think it's it's ridiculous to have those guys, uh, their personnel, to travel to another I mean, mexico i understand is right there you know but i mean you're flying overseas the game over in london they have them in germany things like that but to your point man if i'm a season ticket holder i'm just kind of like okay that's for your for your city for your town but i guess that's that's just their little bit plan man i don't know i, I wouldn't be happy about it i'll tell you yeah. that i'm like i go to brazil for vacation not to go play a football game yeah. yeah you know take care of the people at home first Seems to be seems well, to be a, 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 a constant narrative. I would I would ask, what's the difference between that and and Nebraska and Northwestern playing in in Ireland? Yeah, I, I agree with you. So. I agree with you, man. It's just like really, yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah. How about we play at home? Yeah, <laughs> All right. How about we play at home? But who knows? But that is that is interesting. It's going to be it'd be interesting to see what the players' opinions on that are as well. I'm, I I I would put money that the, the majority of the players, particularly the coaches, do not want to go play a doggone football game in Brazil. Especially one that counts against your record. Absolutely. That, and then also, you're still on the same schedule as everybody yep. else. you got to play. They'll probably have a bye week. You would think they would have so a bye week, week. Week two is way too early yeah. to have a bye yeah. week. Yeah, no well, bye that's week. Right. That might come back and play week, right away. Yeah, week two is way too early, so they're going to have to come back. And, and what they're and, saying and is, well, you're week. playing Friday, so that'll give you a day of, so, yeah, I it's going to take you two days just to get acclimated while you're there in two days. And they yeah. have to get acclimated while you get back yeah. home. I don't know. I don't know. NFL. <laughs> they, they wanted, they want to play on Friday, <laughs> Friday night lights. Oh, man. Yep. Uh, to the unknown texture who sent this for the sake of time, I can't read all of it, but we definitely appreciate you being a long time listener. Uh, your retired army veteran runs a local nonprofit organization dedicated to raising awareness of veteran suicide. Hence why my man, I wanted to read this because this is such an important issue. Mm -hmm. Um, um, uh, a little bit of former players could team up for their next 2024 Memorial Run uh, Ruck March next uh, next Saturday morning, uh, Saturday, April 20th, uh, for the 22 Lives Matter Memorial Ruck March. 
dedicated to raising awareness about the mental health challenges faced by veterans. Uh, they can make a difference together, whether you're a veteran or you're a compassionate supporter of veterans or those who have served in our armed forces. Uh, he mentions to grab your friends, your family, companions, come together. Uh, the mark your calendars for the event. The event will begin and end at Waiuka Funeral Home and Cemetery, a cemetery on the furthest east road near the veterans' burial uh, burial area. Again, will begin and end at Waiuka Funeral Home and Cemetery on the farthest east road near the veterans' burial uh, area. Uh, the distance for this year's event will be approximately eight miles. Uh, the uh, schedule is from 9.15, you arrive, 9.30, safety briefing, 10 o'clock, you step off, 12.30, estimated runtime. Here's the key point. For more information, uh, the email is ru at ruckituppforwarriors.com. Again, it's ru for the number four, at ruck, R-U-C-K, ituppforwarriors.org. Say that one more time. ru for at ruckituppforwarriors.org. Folks, and I, I, like I said, I appreciate you listening. Uh, to, to whom you maybe uh, that's, that sent this to us. This is very important, you guys, as far as, you know, veterans mm -hmm. with PTSD. We always want to make time for our veterans, uh, for the sacrifices they have made, and just and getting acclimated back to home, you know, acclimated back to home. So, if you, in fact, I'll say this unknown texture. If you could email us something or text us a flyer that would have it as well, that would be great. So please do that. Uh, again, that is uh, event's going to be next Saturday. Uh, I'm sorry, April 20th. Uh, 2024, 22 Lives Ma uh, Matter Memorial Ruck March. So I want to get that out there to all of our listeners. Nick, yeah, was not a good night, Raph. It was not a good night for for the for the no. Huskers last night and down in Lawrence, Kansas. Man, Nick, no. what, what happened? Well, you just didn't pitch. You didn't throw well. It, it was the same. It looked like 2022, or excuse me, 2023 Nebraska baseball. Unfortunately, last night it, it was a midweek game. Uh, where you, you, number one, your defense was not strong. Your 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 pitching guys on the bump were not throwing strikes, um, you, you grooving them right down the center of the plate, and uh, you had to use seven pitchers last night. Your longest pitcher went two innings. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you you didn't get your starter and Ty Horn allowed five earned runs in one and two thirds innings pitched. Um, mm -hmm. didn't make it over two innings. Uh, you had Casey Dice, who was the second to last pitcher that Nebraska used. And he did. He was the longest tenured pitcher out there with two innings pitched. He got six outs. Nobody else, the other six pitchers, couldn't get six outs or because of matchups weren't given the opportunity to get six outs. And so mm -hmm. it felt a lot like 2023 where Nebraska, they were able to hit the ball yesterday. I, Kansas had similar issues to where they also used seven pitchers. Nebraska, though. They, it felt a lot like 2023 where Kansas scored a lot of runs and Nebraska had to score more. And at that point, you're getting into a football score type of, of, of baseball game where it's 13 to 11. And, and Nebraska, they they come out firing. They get that home run. And then, unfortunately, they, they leave the bases loaded to end the first inning. That's guys on base in scoring position that you weren't able to manufacture in. Mm -hmm. And so then Kansas comes back. They score five, in the I believe, in the in the bottom of the second. They score five. They lead five to one. Then you come back in the uh, top of the third, tie it up five, five. Then Kansas in the bottom of the third scores four more. And it's nine to five in the blink of an eye. And you're only three innings into this game saying, okay, we just got to try to piece something together. And at the end of the day, Nebraska had opportunities in the later innings. Dylan Carey came up with less than two outs and it had the bases loaded and wasn't able to, to manufacture a whole lot. Nebraska ends up losing 13, 11. They're now 22 and eight on the season. And guys, this this upcoming se uh, weekend set against Rutgers in New Jersey, it, it's it's one of those where you need a sweep to kind of feel good about this week. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What did it do? The other team, I guess I don't watch college baseball enough to know. Do 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 the other teams like in the Big Ten? Do they struggle a lot in midweek games, or is this well? Is this a lot of teams in the Big Ten just struggle. Overall, All the time. just yeah. because it's not a very powerful baseball conference, or like nationally, um, I guess. I, guess. I think a lot, a lot of it depends on on a lot of it depends on scheduling, obviously, because yeah. um, Nebraska is is notorious. And this is a positive on a feather in Nebraska's cap. They schedule a little more difficult than other teams, right? Yeah. Whether mm -hmm. that's the non conference games before gotcha. early in the season or the midweeks, um, and now you're also running into a season here where Kansas State is a top twenty five program and. You're running into a time where Wichita State's above 500, and Creighton is, you know, has fewer than seven losses yeah. on the season. So this season makes it more difficult than ever. Yeah. 
but yesterday, man, it's a 15 and 14 Kansas team now, 16 and 14 after last night's victory. And you're going there, you're sitting there going, all right, this is a team that has lost some some really bad games to some really mediocre opponents. This is a, a Kansas team that, yeah, they were able to get two of three from third-ranked TCU at a time, but it felt like one that Nebraska could get, right? Mm-hmm. And, and especially when you got that number in front of your name, because now instead, it, I mean, now you're you're zero and one, and you're two and three in your last yeah. five games after a twenty six and or twenty and five start or whatever it was. It's just kind of a disappointing last, you know, seven it's days. A, so. You're such a catch twenty two though, because you don't want to burn your arms for the weekend. Well, and they had to yesterday. Some of them they did. Oh, and, and, and so like Rand Sanders, I believe, I want to say he pitched on Sunday. He pitched last night, okay. and so like, not necessarily you're going to have, you know, three days rest at least before you have to pitch on Friday or Saturday. So they're going to be able to be okay for the weekend. But guys, once again, like I'll say it, I've said it a thousand times and I'll say it again. It's like, if you're a young guy, like Nebraska's weekend rotation and bullpen arms aren't completely set in stone. And I'm not sure if, if the way that Rob Childress and Will Bolt operate, if they ever will be firmly set in stone. There's a couple of guys that, that have their place cemented, but if you're a young guy, like a, a freshman or a sophomore, like we've seen Jeter Worthley come onto the scene a little bit from Lincoln East High School, like make a name the, for the, yourself. The, the midweek is an incredible opportunity for you. Like there, there's no reason not to be ready in the midweek. That's the time that you say, hey, get, graduate me up to Sunday or graduate me up to Saturday as the number two guy out of the bullpen in the, in the seventh or eighth inning. Well, and, and unfortunately, just Nebraska hasn't had somebody really consistently show that they're capable of of coming in in any situation and just throwing strikes and producing outs. No. Nick, what uh you, you look I was looking at Nebraska's schedule to baseball wise. Obviously they got the the weekend with oh, the Rutgers. I, I apologize. I said Jeter. Jeter's yeah. is still in high school. He's <laughs> yeah. committed to Michigan. Jalen, thank you, Shock Doc. You do it two ways, high school and college. Just <laughs> yep. something new. Yeah, yeah. My bad. Trying my bad. it out, a little NIL stuff. Yes, yes. Jeter. I'm so I'm so accustomed to Jeter just from high school football. He since he's the quarterback for Lincoln East too. But no, yes, Jalen Worthy is the the pitcher at Nebraska. Mm-hmm. Well, you, you look at Nebraska's schedule going forward. They got obviously Rutgers this weekend. Then they play Creighton again. They yeah, got Creighton again Tuesday. on the 16th. They'll go to Maryland for the weekend uh, series there. And then guess who comes to town again the 23rd? KU. Yeah. So they got a chance to get these uh, um, get some redemption on these guys, if yep. you will. But, man, they, back. they've got to take care of these games. And Rutgers yeah. this weekend is going to be – what is Rutgers' record right now? I'm trying to pull this up. That can't be – are they – Fun fact, Rutgers, the former home of Todd Frazier, former mm-hmm. MLB player, Todd Frazier. <laughs> um, so is Rutgers 20-12 and 12 overall right now? So remember, so it was it, it, Rutgers was interesting while we pull this up. Looks right. Yeah. Um, Rutgers is 20 and 12 right now, 14 yeah. eight away, six and four at home, but only one and five in the conference. Yep. I mean, well, so this is, I mean, so this is the perfect example, right? So Nebraska, we know the teams that they started out the season with, right? Where it was uh, Baylor, Oklahoma, and Texas Tech. And uh, so for like Rutgers, they started the season against Winthrop. Then mm-hmm. they uh, go down the 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 road. Say that name again. Winthrop. Winthrop. I, I, I love saying that name, Winthrop. And then it's like, oh, it's Old Dominion. And then it's St. Joe's. And it's Charleston Southern. Mm-hmm. So you see the, di- yeah, you see the differences <laughs> yep. in the scheduling tactics because Rutgers, they're not known for scheduling the way that Nebraska schedules. A mm-hmm. lot of maybe the name isn't there as well. But just a couple of years ago, Rutgers missed the tournament after winning 40 games. Yeah. Well, things yeah. like that play a factor. Yeah. The, the, the committee Great will schedule. take the committee will take a 35 win ball club with Nebraska schedule yep. over a 40 win ball club when you're in the Big Ten Conference like Rutgers with their schedule. And you're so, playing Winthrop, Wagner, yeah, Charleston Southern, uh, St. Joe's, yep, Old Dominion, yeah. So yeah, so, th- so yeah, so things like that play a factor, and that's a big reason why Nebraska is still ranked after mm-hmm. going two and two last week is because they've they've played a little bit more of a of a tougher slate. However, if, if they don't, you know, at least take two or three this weekend, Nebraska probably won't be ranked next week. Well, Willie's got a good point. Good morning to you, Willie. He goes, defense didn't help our pitchers last night. Remind me of the defense last year. They that, definitely didn't help. That's my yeah. point, right? Like I, I remember being at Haymarket Park for a, a plethora of midweek games, specifically against North Dakota State where it was like 13 to 6 and they drop, you know, eight runs in the third inning and it's such a a tall mountain to climb against anybody, but especially when Nebraska last year at least didn't have the offense. Now they have the offense this year. They've showed that multiple times, 
guys, once again, like 11 runs should be a plenty enough to win a yeah. baseball game. Yeah. Uh, you, you've shown Nebraska has shown this season that three wins or three runs are enough for them to win a baseball game. Mm-hmm. It, they just didn't have it last night. They had to use seven pitchers. Once again, it's pretty telling. Unfortunately, it's not, you couldn't get a single pitcher to go for more than six outs. It couldn't get you more than six outs last night. Um, now, granted, Kansas wasn't much better. Their their best pitcher only got him seven outs in one single outing, but still, like this is about you guys now, and and you got to figure out a way to 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 get on top of some of these teams. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, well, they got a big one in uh, in Jersey this weekend. They got to take care of business, that's for sure, man. They Nebraska, of course, plays Rutgers uh, coming up this weekend. That'll be five o'clock uh, Central Time on Friday. And then on Saturdays at 3 o'clock and then Sundays at 11 a.m. I don't know. I'll be might watching this instead of the Masters. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Not! <laughs> wow. Hey, wow. Masters, Masters Par 3 contest today at 11 a.m. Central Love Time. It. Love it. Par 3 Love contest it. today. It is the Masters weekend. I can hear Jim Nance now saying, Hello, Hello friends. friends. Yes, indeed, baby. Raph. Folks, we'll be Thank right you. back. We got a little history coming up, and we got a lot of Husker football to d- discuss uh, what took place. And man, I tell you what, Kalen is getting very high praises right mm. now for what he's Danny doing. Danny right Dimes, there, man. So it's good to hear that. We'll have history. <laughs> Nick says interesting. <laughs> Danny Dimes. I, I didn't get that text. Interesting. I, I didn't know you guys were <laughs> <laughs> Folks, it's the drive 93.7 on this hump day, Wednesday. We'll be right back. Your business runs like a well-oiled machine. It's important that your actual machines do too. Stern is here to make sure you don't have to worry about that. They provide solutions for heavy equipment and automotive fuels, lubricants, and equipment guard options. And with Stern's commitment to customer service for the past 40 years, you know you have a partner to help support your operations for years to come. Contact Roger at Stern Company by calling 1-800-477-2744 or visit them online at stern.co. Stern Company, where problems meet solvers. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Hi, this is State Senator Carolyn Bozin. Education is a cornerstone to building a strong, vibrant community. I voted for the historic increase in funding for education in the legislature. As a state senator, wife, and mom, I believe Lincoln is a great place to work and raise a family. My husband Reggie and I are local business owners and understand the valuable role of education in our community. This is Carolyn Bozin, and I am asking for your vote on May 14th, paid for by Bozin for Legislature. Tune in every Wednesday night from 9 to 10 p.m. for the Malone Radio Show on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Don't miss the opportunity to learn about the Malone Community Center's goal to eliminate multi-generational poverty in Lincoln and the surrounding area. It's the Malone Radio Show with Executive Director John Goodwin and Sports Director Mike Hunter every Wednesday night from 9 to 10 p.m. on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Hey, Husker Nation, Matt Davison here with 1890. It's an exciting time to be a Husker fan, and to keep that momentum going, we need your help. Nebraska's always been a leader in college athletics, and we're doing the same through name, image, and likeness. NIL is a unique opportunity for every Husker fan to have a direct impact on the success of our programs. Through 1890, 100% of your contribution goes to the student-athletes. So go to 1890nebraska.com, choose your sport, become a member, and help the Huskers recruit and retain the best. Go Big Red. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Cobble Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Cobble. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right, 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money-saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at CobbleCars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM for 93.7 The Ticket. 
Southeast Community College invites you to check out our spaces ahead of your official campus visit. Our virtual campus tours let you see our campuses and learn more about our programs of study. Then you can schedule your individual visit in person or virtually. Virtual tours of our campuses in Beatrice, Lincoln, or Milford and our learning centers are online at southeast.edu slash visit SCC. SCC, your path to possible. Okay, it's time to sell the house. How do we even begin to choose from the hundreds of realtors in town? Easy. We make a pros list. You mean a pros and cons list? No, just a pros list. We need someone with pro photography to showcase the house in the best possible way. Pro marketing to make sure we get maximum exposure. Pro negotiations so we know we get the best price. This is one of those times where you already know the right answer, isn't it? You know it is. Ben Bleicher and Professional Realty Group. Contact Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Services Ambassador online at prg-ne.com. If you're in Seward or Milford, listen up. Select Plumbing is now servicing your area with no trip charges from Lincoln. Select Plumbing works on a variety of issues for your home and business, including general plumbing, water heaters, faucet fixture repair, underground sewer and water repairs, backflow testing, and more. Keep your property free from leaks and other issues. Call today for a free estimate, 402-560-6197. It's not just Lincoln, Waverly, and the surrounding area anymore. It's also Seward and Milford with no trip charges. Contact Select Plumbing to inquire, 402 402- 560-6197. Whether you like fishing together or fishing to get away for the thrill of reeling in a big one or just going out to have a good time on the banks of your local pond, at a bend in a river, or on one of our many lakes and reservoirs, you'll always find the perfect place to cast a line here beneath Nebraska skies. Start planning your next fishing adventure today at letsfishnebraska.com. Sponsored by Nebraska Game and Parks, aired with the Nebraska Broadcasters Association and this station. On the block with Strick and Austin. I think about all the infrastructure that got built up behind the scenes by, by Coach Osborne that Coach Solich took over, and then some of that infrastructure was eroded. Matt Rule still has to prove this, but I think Matt Rule's style is that, yeah, he'd like the infrastructure in place, but I think Matt Rule has the personality to do everything in his power to bend it to the way he wants it. Weekdays from 2 to 4 on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Gray on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we are back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Wednesday, middle of the week. Beautiful day outside, 73 degrees today. Ha! Ah, what you going to shoot today, man? Under 100. <laughs> that's, guys, always, that's always like, where are you guys playing? I forgot. Ah, uh, he'll crush. Oh, jeez, AD, why did you say this? You seriously forgot? No. Huh. Huh. Nick? Never been able to play there. Well... <laughs> One time, AD. One time, AD. <laughs> you couldn't have played. I reason. knew exactly what was played. going to happen. Here's the played. reason. It was not. We didn't set it up. I'm just messing. It's no, fine. you're not. I am messing. No, you're not. I am messing around. Because you couldn't have done this because it was at, it's a one o'clock start. <laughs> Absolutely not. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Not going to make it. The best is where you played. I'm like, I knew right when I was going to say it. I was like, nope. I don't know where we're playing at. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you the truth. We're playing Well, thank you, AD, for being truthful. Oh, I just wanted to save your heart. Well, I knew we couldn't play anymore. I know. Yeah. Jack Russell hooked it up. Appreciate Jack hooking it up. We're going to play with Travis. Uh, me and Ralph. My goal is to keep it under a hundo at Hillcrest because hey, yeah. those fairways are like, you know, driving down with a driver, keep it in the on, on O Street. Those, yeah. those fairways are narrow. I wonder if they've chopped down any more trees because I'll probably chop a few more down today. If they have. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot, a lot of trees out there. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Where the heck that tree coming from? <laughs> I knocked a lot of those trees over out there. That's yeah, funny. It is a tight course, man. What you got today for history, Rafi? History. All right. Well, we have the Masters beginning tomorrow. Part three contest today. In 1916, the Professional Golfers Association of America is founded in New York City. The PGA. Wow. Boom. 1916. 
1916 so a little over 100 years later then you have the whole live golf <laughs> debacle mm, as well mm, the, mm. the best yesterday i was watching the golf network or maybe it was espn and um john rom's coming out and he wants him to play 72 holes and not 54 and yeah i forgot if it's brando shambler goes well the thing is is your whole tour is called live which is roman numerals for 54 <laughs> oh, <laughs> man <laughs> He came at Holy him, man. He, he came at him, which was. <laughs> it, it is interesting because, I mean, like there, there's, you know, we're talking about the masters and things like that. Once majors come around, you get reminded of some of the golfers that have, mm-hmm. have moved towards live. Right. Yeah. Like the Cam Smiths, who was one of the younger guys, came bursting onto the scene yep. and then just abruptly left. And yeah. obviously the Brooks kept because of the world, the DeChambos, uh, Dustin Johnson. So you you see these names and it kind of brings back the man I miss when these were guys. It was just yeah. a given that everybody was going to play in every single tournament, and you knew kind of who to expect to be there. Yeah. Now it's it, yeah, like obviously like the Wyndham Clarks are coming up and and things like that. Brian Harmon has yeah. finally gotten a couple of top ten finishes and things like that. Which not sure if you guys saw the pairing with Brian Harmon. Did you guys see? Oh yeah, yep. Brooks, Brooks Kepka, Kepka, one of the mm. fastest Fast players on the slow. tours. Waggle, now, waggle. is going to be playing with Brian Harmon, one of the slowest players Brooks on the tuner. Brooks is tour. It, it, it's going to be interesting to see though how they how this progresses because like John Rom talked about it yesterday that it hurt him to drive past the Phoenix Open this year and seeing all the the stands up and everything. I mean, John Rom usually owns the waste management Phoenix open because he went to Arizona state. He's a, he's a favorite of the crowd. Mm-hmm. And he goes, it physically hurt me at having to drive by and seeing all the, the facade up and everything built up. And he's like, knowing that I wasn't going to be able to play there this year. You know, so I, I don't know. I somehow, some way they need to find a way to, I, but I don't just don't know I, how. I, I don't know. Have you guys watched? I'm going to tell you what didn't hurt John Rom depositing 500 million into his bank account. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. exactly not what hurt. John, yeah, John Rom got five hundred million dollars. Yeah, to just go him. in December, John, and you can play yeah, it when you it's play set whatever up. You want you can play. <laughs> hey, you can play. You can play the day after after the match if you want to. They go probably play closed the course down for you. Yeah. 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 So they, here's here's why, Rav. I'm not saying you're saying this. Here's why I have no sympathy for the guys. Yeah, they got the live, money. They good saying that. Man, I wish I could have played that, bro. You didn't think twice. I wouldn't have either. Yeah. yeah you got five hundred million, not fifty million. Not five million. You got five hundred million dollars. Yeah, yeah, you good. Not to play that course. Yeah, and it, Dude, I'll play. I'll play Holmes Lake all day. You give me five hundred million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I will play Jim. Anger you give me like it's I, Augusta. I, I Actually, know, I know this you give me like five hundred. <laughs> you give me five hundred million dollars. I'll never play golf yeah, again. Like, <laughs> I'm good. It'd be kind of like him. You know, you can I, play golf for all those years. I, I saved that money much. I, I saved that money. All that five hundred million was instead of paying for golf. I yeah. wouldn't have to. Yeah, when yeah. you said I'm that, Rav, it really hurt me. It, it hurt him hurt, physically. physically. Hurt me. How easy did you deposit that check? <laughs> <laughs> did it hurt you when that wire transfer came through well, for five hundred million dollars? <laughs> so I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys have, have have watched the new season of Full Swing on Netflix yet. I yeah, no, it's on yet. it is. I highly recommend it. Okay. This season two, in my eyes, better than season one mm. um, as a whole. <clears throat> Excuse me. The first two episodes are all about the the sporadic merge of Live Golf mm, and PGA. I can't wait to watch it. And it it really highlights Rory McIlroy, who was in a very interesting yeah. position because he was the one he yeah, that he was, was stayed kind of as the face of the PGA kind of the as the golfer. He was the ambassador. He turns into this this golf politician, if you will, mm-hmm. and then abruptly they merge without yep. anybody having a clue. Yep. And it talks about how listen, it like Rory had to stop focusing on golf <laughs> as much to more worry about. The uh the 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 political the political side and trying to advocate for the PGA and keeping that around yep. that then his golf game suffered on the course, well then only to have a merge abruptly without right. him having yep. any clue right. any say Surprise. and he goes I, I, the, the, there were there were analysts that were saying like Rory's taking a step back because of the PGA doing him dirty like that and now he we don't know if he'll ever be able to get back to that mindset that it takes. Yep. To not get in the top 10 because he's been there, but to have the mental fortitude yeah. to win a tournament. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. as we know, and people that just watch golf, 
it takes a different mindset to yeah. be able to to grind out a win on Sunday. <laughs> Thursday to Sunday is a you is don't a, want to be in tig- Tiger's group on the no. fourth day. Yeah, you do not want to be <laughs> what, even, what, on the, even on the first day. What did somebody say on, in 2019 or something? It was like I, I want to, I, you know, I want to be on in Tiger's oh, group. No, the guy said no. Bloop, you don't. Go, the bloop, you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was that? that, that oh, that it was on the name. Tiger documentary. Yeah. Yeah. What was that analyst right. name? One of the funniest sound bites ever. He goes, I want to play a Tiger when he's playing his best. He goes, the blank you do. <laughs> I, the best was Max Holman in his press conference. He apologized. He goes, Hey, Tiger, just want to let you know that me and the other guy, um. We're going to have a lot of crowd watching us on Thursday. So <laughs> hope it doesn't bother you too much. <laughs> That's funny. That's hey, funny. Ron, you're exactly right. Pay AD $500 million to play golf, and he'll never throw a club again. Nope, will not throw a club again. I, I, I will dollars. retire from golf for $500 million. Oh, I would never pick up a club again for $500 I'd be fine. million. I'm, I'm good. $5 I'm good. million, dollars, I wouldn't play golf again. Yeah. I'm like, That's cool. I'll just watch. <laughs> In Husker history, folks, this time it was Bo Pelini. And he came out with the infamous cat. Oh, the wow. Game, the, the pregame kitty. tunnel walk. What, was it, Whatever it, happened to that cat, I wonder. You know, I don't know. I don't know. He's still alive. Cat. Is well, the cat still around? Well, that was April of 2014. So I was looking 10 years ago. What oh, do you guys think? They, what do you guys, out of guess, what do you think the attendance was at the spring game that day? Just out of guess. 54,237. No, I'm going to go over. Over? Over. Throw so a number. Uh, While you're thinking, so that was the red. That was. That was just after the expansion mm-hmm. of, of of East, because 2014, I believe, was the year that they brought Josh Allen in to play as Wyoming with Wyoming. Maybe that was 2017. Maybe I'm thinking way ahead. Um, I'm gonna go 73,000, 61,000 oh. in attendance that day. 61,000. And is the cat still alive? If anybody Not knows, sure that cat's alive. Let us know. You guys, let me ask you this: What do you guys think the attendance will be for this year? <laughs> um, sixty-eight thousand three hundred and thirty-one. I'm gonna go slightly under that. Sixty-four. I say sixty plus. I'm just, gonna put, I'm just gonna sixty yeah. plus. We'll have there. Uh, I think I, from the curiosity to see Ryola and Kalen live, yep. to see those guys, like I said, to see them live in a live scrimmage yep. is going to be intriguing for a lot of fans. Uh, to see this, so I'd say sixty thousand plus, most likely broadcast on the Big Ten Network. You would think, Nick, right? Yep, yep, broadcast so. on the Big Ten Network. Yep. So, yeah, it'll be, I mean, it, there's going to be obviously some excitement surrounding the quarterbacks. Um, it, I mean, it'll be interesting. Uh, the The media got to watch eleven v eleven yesterday. Yeah, at practice. Let them in, <laughs> guys. I mean, I'll be honest. That's never been the case. Never been the case. Repeat that again. Where where when the media comes into practice, eleven v eleven, eleven right. on eleven. Mm. you were able to see it you were able to see live reps ne- mm. never has that in in the last at least three coaches mm-hmm. hasn't been allowed and so for what i mean it was a surprise for a lot of people yesterday uh yeah yeah we got that clip <laughs> yeah seriously so uh, hey, any- unknown texter 3789 says 500 bucks i would never play golf again <laughs> <laughs> oh we got a birthday today too yep what do we got before we had to break we got a very happy 58th birthday to two-time Denver Broncos Super Bowl winner and All-American defensive end from Nebraska. Oh, yeah, and Kansas City Chief. Neil Smith. (laughs) Oh, yeah, and Kansas City Chief. (laughs) There it is. All right. Neil Neil Smith, Smith, happy birthday. Oh, and John Madden's birthday would have been today, too. Oh, Uh, what would he have been? He's born in 36, so I've been... 88, uh, 18, 30, 34, 24. <laughs> no, 24. What would it have been 90? He'd be 90 years 90 old. 90 years old? Mm-hmm. Well, 36, 1936. 36, 88. 88, 88, 88 yes. Yeah, so way, way to go, me. 88 years old. Way to go, you. Way to go, me. I think I said 88 to begin, didn't I? Way to go, you. <laughs> way to go, me. What? <laughs> and Neil Smith. Oh, man. Yeah. He was fast when he got, came. But when he got to Nebraska, he only weighed like 215. <laughs> dirty tony and the boys and he taking 60 plus as the last guy to pick his be in the dollar bid guy on the prices right <laughs> yeah <laughs> just like all right what did everybody else pick i'll just go under <laughs> one yeah. dollar <laughs> yeah. Raph, Raph, send us a break all man. right we're gonna throw us a break just the drive right through the seventh ticket <laughs> This is Lane.
Lancaster County Attorney Pat Condon reminding you to vote for my friend and colleague, Carolyn Bosin. Carolyn Bosin is a strong voice for Lincoln, who we need representing us in the legislature. Carolyn Bosin voted for historic funding for education to support our schools and for the largest property tax relief package in Nebraska history. Carolyn Bosin is the voice we need representing us in the legislature. This is Lancaster County Attorney Pat Condon. Join me in supporting Carolyn Bosin for legislature on May 14th. Paid for by Bosin for Legislature. It's officially one of the greatest weeks of the year on the sports calendar, Masters Week. Book your tee time today with friends, family, or coworkers at Double Eagle Golf inside the Kinetic Sports Complex on West O Street. Doors open at 10 a.m. from Thursday to Sunday, and they'll have food directly from Augusta National, like pimento cheese sandwiches, Georgia pecan caramel popcorn, and lots more plus specialty drinks to get you in the mood for the greatest golf tournament in the world. Book a bay today at doubleeagle.golf. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Spring is a time of new beginnings and trying new things. If you haven't tried Fuhrer's Cheese Spread yet, the time is now. For parties for St. Patrick's Day and Easter, or celebrating the NCAA tournament with friends, there's no better dip to bring everyone together and celebrate something from Nebraska. Get to your local grocery store today and load up on Fuhrer's Cheese Spread. No event or party is complete without it on your table. Where will your path take you, traveler? To seek fortune in a new career? Or on a journey to distant lands for a well-deserved vacation? Wherever you go, one distraction could spell disaster. You can change your fate, adventurer. Don't drive distracted. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Community means something different to everyone. But for me, it means cheering on those around you during the good times and helping them out during the tough times. I'm softball player Jordy Ball, and I've been blessed with the support of my friends, family, coaches, and community throughout my life. When looking for a bank to call home, it was easy to choose Midwest Bank. I never feel like just another customer, and they're proud to support their communities. They love what they do, and it shows. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. 24-7 threat monitoring, expert tech support, streamlined communications. Allo has a solution for that. Protect your business with Allo Business. Comprehensive firewall security, Microsoft Teams voice integrated communications, cybersecurity and IT support managed by experts. From productivity to peace of mind, Allo has a solution for that. Allo means business. Protect your business by visiting allofiber.com forward slash business. Liberty Law Group is committed to the defense of liberty for those accused and the pursuit of justice for those injured. Liberty Law Group's relentless trial attorneys specialize in criminal defense and personal injury law. We believe in treating every client with respect, compassion, and understanding. We know that navigating the legal system is stressful and overwhelming, but Liberty Law Group will carry that burden for you. When you're facing legal issues, make the right call. 877-42-LIBERTY. That's 877-42-LIBERTY. The Lincoln Marathon hits the streets Sunday, May 5th. Will you be part of the pack? Registration is now open for the full and half marathon at the LincolnMarathon.org. This event offers something for runners of all ages and abilities, from elite athletes to those looking to accomplish a fitness goal or check off a bucket list item. Sign up now to run the marathon on Sunday, May 5th. If running isn't in the cards, consider volunteering on race day. Complete event details can be found at lincolnmarathon.org. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. Liberty Law Group is committed to the pursuit of justice for those that have been injured. My name is Eric Hagan, attorney with Liberty Law Group. If you've been injured in an accident that wasn't your fault, call 877-42-LIBERTY. Our detail-oriented trial attorneys are committed to the highest quality legal representation. At Liberty Law Group, we will fight for you. 
call 877-42-LIBERTY. Once again, that's 877-42-LIBERTY. The captain for Sean Jackson. Mike Minner, what's up, bro? When you look at Dylan, you're looking at quarterbacks that kind of come around once every 20 years. And this is a kid I'm looking at, I don't know how old he is, 17, 18 years old. And he is already directing things that a 17, 18-year-old kid should not even know. Changing line protection. Okay, guys, I don't know where we've been two weeks of practice. Come on, man. Well, we got guys in the National Football League that can't do that. Welcome to The Drive. With A.D. Raff and Amon Gray, former Husker football national champion, speaker, and author, Aaron Davis. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Cornhuskers beat Miami. It is history, 13-0, and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Former Arena Football League quarterback, former head coach of the Capital City Crush, and guru of Husker football history. Chris Rath. 25 straight wins for the Cornhuskers. One of the most dominating stretches in college football history. We may have seen one of the best teams in the history of college football tonight. 12-year NFL veteran. He's got some speed to go with strength. Huskers and Green Bay Packers Hall of Famer. Shovel pass to Green. Into Vikings territory. Finally brought down. And University of Nebraska eSports coach Amon Green. Look at Green. All by himself. 20, 10, touchdown. Sponsored by Doors Plus on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we're back again. This is The Drive, 93.7 The Ticket. Hour 2 is proudly sponsored by Doors Plus. If your garage door needs maintenance or you need an entirely new garage door, give Cameron Hall and his team a call today at 402-590-5800. Doors Plus is locally owned and handles everything from residential or commercial garage doors, garage door openers, safety tune-ups, or custom design. Visit DoorsPlusLLC.com to learn more. Doors Plus, garage doors, and more. You know, I was just checking on Facebook. We got another birthday. Carrie Manning, wife of Coach Manning. Oh, nice. Carrie Manning kicks our tail (laughs) All the time at Ferrell's. <laughs> thanks, just, thanks, AD. Oh, she, 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 talk about talk about root busting a bubble there. What's that? <laughs> You'll find out at the end of the show. <laughs> you know. Oh, you're going to say happy birthday to her. Well, she was going to be Ralph's good take, but we'll, we'll, we'll do it. No, 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 no. It doesn't. It doesn't burst. You shouldn't give up so easily. It doesn't burst the bubble off. You shouldn't give up so easily. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll give her more, more flowers. More we're flowers. Just, we're just going to say that. More flowers. Yeah, more, more flowers. flowers. We're just going to say it should be recognized more. Carrie, happy birthday. Rap has got something for you later on. Uh, <laughs> uh, she's Kate, awesome. Also, Kay Johnson, uh, son of my mm. former teammate, Cluster Johnson, my little godson, Kay Johnson. It's uh free agency right now. Uh, he was with the Seattle Seahawks for a number of years. Also, obviously, played up in the Dakotas up there. But uh, Kay Johnson's birthday is today as well. Uh, it's crazy seeing how old these kids are getting. I'm like, gosh, because I remember just looking at, you know, Five little mochas running around my backyard. You know, it was Cade, CJ, <laughs> Keegan. <Aiden> so, Keenan. <laughs> so cool, though, too. Like, Kate, like when we talked to Cade, you know, we asked him about Russell Wilson. Uh, oh, yeah, cool, dude. You know, yeah. great guy, great. You know, whatever. And then, um, and then why am I CJ? CJ. CJ. Cluster Jr. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. CJ, we're over, Allen. we're over at AD's house one night. And Josh Allen is just texting CJ. I'm just like, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those are, I mean, they're, you're talking about solid kids, man. I'm so proud of all those kids. And Keegan's at K-State right now. but And Keegan was always the runt, you know, so he always got left out. But they would beat him up. So that's why <laughs> that dude's so so tough. They would beat him up when he was a kid so bad. And um, Aiden would come in as the Lord he is, would try to explain it all. Well, here's what had happened. He was over in this fit. Like, shut up. Everybody's getting a whooping. Get in the house. <laughs> Real quick here, unknown texture. <laughs> Everybody's getting a whooping in the house. <laughs> Me and Cluster had our heads fooled, all them kids, man. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, <laughs> unknown texture 0849 says, whatever happened to Mike Kroll? Mike Kroll is, lives in Los Angeles, California, uh, doing great. And Mike Kroll, you're talking about one of the coolest former Huskers you'd ever meet. Mike Kroll, very artistic, too. Yep. And Broderick Thomas and those guys used to tease Mike Kroll quite a bit because he was, you know, he, he was, a, you know, kind of a surfer brother. You know, there's like, and I remember Broderick said, how many brothers, you know, surfing? <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> but Coach Samuel's got some great stories. In fact, we need to get Coach Samuel back on, man. 
Mm-hmm. Coach Samuel just saw the year. Too many of them back on the show. Coach Samuel has got a lot of cool stories uh, about Mike Kroll, too. But Mike Kroll is out. Mike Kroll, C-R-O-E-L. Yep. C-R-O-E-L. Mike Kroll played defensive in here at Nebraska. And also, Raf played for your Broncos. Denver for Broncos and yeah. the New York Giants. Mike Kroll was, last well, year was what, 89, 88, something like that? Uh, I think it might have, because he was with Broderick. Yeah, guys. it was 88. Oh, no, 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 no. His rookie year was was Kenny Walker's rookie year because it was Kenny and Mike Kroll in Denver. That so it would have been ninety one. It was the year after where Colorado beat us twenty seven to twelve mm. so when they won the national title. So nineteen ninety. So yep. ninety one. Yep, ninety one. Yep. So Mike Kroll played defensive end here at Nebraska. Good dude. Very creative too. Very creative. Nick. Yeah. There was a practice yesterday. There was a scrimmage. Mm. Well, slight scrimmage. Just live. I would say live yesterday. Yeah. That was going on. Let me ask you guys this quote before we get to the clips. Let me ask you both this. Would you redshirt Kalen if he's not? Would you redshirt him? Here, here's my thought process on Text that. line, let us know. My instant thought is, I mean, you go in with the plan of, of I mean, yeah, plan to play him not for more than four games, right? Bingo. But here's the thing. As we've seen, as we've seen in years past, number one, Nebraska's quarterback room hasn't necessarily progressed. And there hasn't been a whole lot of uh, space or gap between the starter and the backup or or backup and other backups. So I would say hold up and and kind of just it's that old cliche of of be ready, right? Yep. As as generalized as that sounds, it's it's that whole cliche of just like you got to be ready to go if your name's called. Because Danny K may be number two when it comes yep. to the fall. If Heinrich Harburg's not number two, if Heinrich Harburg's number two, well then guess what? With injuries and with um, just kind of freak things that happen. I, I, once again, Danny Kay's kind of got to be ready to go. But I think understanding the expectation that that he probably won't play four games. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. oh sorry. No, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say too. I think the days kind of ended ended for Nebraska a little bit, where you know they have those big blood victories, and you're worried about burning the red shirts. So I, I think you go into the season with the with the attitude, like you said, yeah. to play the four games. If you make it to a bowl game, the fifth. Okay, so you come into the season. Dylan's starting quarterback. Dylan plays it out, no injuries, all's good. Then you you retain that red shirt. Say if something happens at the end of one of these first games, maybe we get up by thirty or forty. Then you put in Harbor again that he'll mm-hmm. that he'll play. If something you know, God forbid, happens to Dylan, and then you have then you make that decision if you have to make that decision. But like you said, I think you try to keep them within that four game line. I mean, here's the thing also, guys, the reality of the college football world and college athletics. Now you don't know who's going to be here it's next fluid. year, right? Yep. You don't know who's going to be here next year. And, and I'm not trying to put that negative juju out in the air, it's, but, no, it's not negative. but, but <laughs> it's I mean, that's, truth. that's the honest truth is if Dylan has guys or has a really remarkable season, then, then there's going to be guy of people pl- trying to take him away. Yep. And, and there's, we, we know that stuff is, is active and uh, present in college athletics. And so, in that case, it's it's the you got to be thinking of what's best for the team, like Raf said, in current present day, but also how are we stacking up for the future? And that's why Nebraska still is going and targeting a quarterback in the tra- excuse me in the recruiting class this year and looking for a 2025 guy. Like it's because you never know what type of situation you may fall find yourself in in two year two seasons down the road, three seasons down the road, just because it's ever changing. It's 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 um and as much as the Big Ten is such a pounding conference, I mean, all of them got to be prepared. Hence yep. why I love having Glenn Thomas there as a quarterback yep. coach too, man. Because all those guys got to be on deck. Heck, we went through three last year. Yep. You know, uh, and some of those weren't injury. I mean, some of those, all of those, in some shape or fashion, were injury related. Yeah. You yeah. know, so it's going to happen. Yeah. And then that um, that goes back to another thing, like talking about um the ever changing landscape of college football and people leaving. Maybe you're not worried so much about burning Kalen's red shirt because we don't know. Maybe he might be one that he gets few plays some this year and he, he impresses some people and another team comes and picks him out. So it, you, you basically anymore, you got to be all hands on deck. I, everybody's available. You know, even as we're sitting here talking about it and Chase B, yes, Nick was, he said, preach, Nick, preach. Absolutely. Praise he does. Brother Nick. Preach, brother Nick. Amen. That's why I say praise the Lord. We, got we were all Nick. preaching. Amen. We were all preaching. Well, not just me. You know, I, I, it's weird to just sit here and listen to you guys talk. And it's still weird for me to realize that that's our reality now. Yeah. With all those names we talked about in the past, all those quarterbacks, never once when we talked yesterday, not once in our minds we think anyone would ever transfer. Not, yeah. I mean, not what yeah. you, what, the thought would even come to your mind. 
New world. And now I was listening to you guys. I'm sitting here looking at kind of gazing on Ostry. I'm thinking like, yeah, that is a possible reality. Well, it's, 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 so, it's so different. Back in the day, you used to always talk about, okay, let's try and save this guy and we'll redshirt him and we'll give an extra season. But now you have to go in with it. You've got one season. That's it. It's one well, season it's, contract. That's it. So yeah. I, you can't really like we were, I was thinking, you know, I, I guess I was talking old term, old time, like, well, let's try and save it, save him a year. But now I'm thinking to myself, we might not even have him next year. So it's all hands on deck. Well, and, and Push to, all your coins in. Yeah. To that point, right? I think, and, and we're getting into this big picture conversation. I, I think to that point of, of what you guys were talking about, it falls on Nebraska. Like as a program, as an institution, it, it, they, they need to get their, their, their P's and Q's tied up real tight. Mm-hmm. And, and everything from, from on-field staff has to have things going in the right direction. Everything from, um, it, obviously, the collectives need to get there and make, make sure that they got their stuff going on and mm-hmm. together. This is not me calling them out. This is not even like a warning shot. This is not yep. me trying to take it under under the the nope. Nope. under the road. Like, hey, hey, here's a shot. Like, hey, realize that you got to get. No, that's not what I'm saying. Right. I'm saying just in general, yep. right? Mm-hmm. Because it, whether it's Dylan Riola, whether it is whoever on the roster, um, if if Nebraska as an institution, as a football program, as a university, doesn't have everything tightened up and actually running like a well oiled machine. Nope. And it starts with the people in the building. Yeah. Then that's when we're going to start to have problems, yeah. even more problems than maybe Nebraska's already experiencing. Correct. What do we got for some clips, my man? Well, we got we got time for one no, here. We'll one before, we'll, we'll come back um, back. let's just go let's, with uh, Evan Cooper real quick. Okay. Uh, I, one of the names that we've heard uh, real often is Bly Hill. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and Evan Cooper had some things to say uh, regarding Bly Hill, the defensive back, yesterday after practice. I was interested in him because he's a really good player. Uh, his size and his speed and his, you know, ability to cover, he, he's a good player. Uh, he fits in. He fit right in. Like, he's a good human, and that room is full of those guys. They, they've they been, you know, trying to get pretty tight. You know, you need some – you need to be able to gel in the secondary, and we, we're doing a good job with it. They're working at it. So, I, I like him. He's a sophomore. He's like 18. He's the same age as all the, any other, other freshmen. So, he's been working out pretty well. Bly Hill from St. Francis University out there in Philly. In fact, mm-hmm. right after that picture, which is ironic, that I posted last night on my Instagram story, yeah. that giant John Kremel, yeah. he's associate AD at St. Francis. <laughs> when I spoke, that was a school I spoke at where they didn't have any more rental cars. Yeah, I rented a 16-passenger rental van. Uh, uh, yeah, 16 passenger I remember van. that. Yeah. yeah, I literally had to drive to this campus in a 16-passenger van. van, and it was just myself, but uh, that was at St. Francis. in his honorage. Yeah, I, literally, it was just 16-passenger van, and, and, and John <laughs> Kremel, he goes, did you bring other people? I was like, this is the only car they had available. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> rolled around Pennsylvania with a 16 passenger van, straight solo. Looked a little weird, but never thus. But Black Hill, he has three years of eligibility left uh, for Nebraska, man, which is uh, it's kind of a stats. I'm looking online here. He played in nine games at St. Francis last year. 21 tackles, one tackle for loss, six pass breaks up and two INTs. Um, so that's a guy, it, it's good to hear him come, it, obviously finding his, find his rhythm here at Nebraska already. You know, find out where he's at. Yeah, I mean, and so he's he's listed as a cornerback, so he'll be at the CB position there. Um, and, and like he's a, he's a guy that's going to be. I mean, when when I've been at practice, he's in front of everybody. He's one of those guys that's at the front of the line mm-hmm. every single time. Um, Evan, Coach Cooper's talked about his age, eighteen years old, um, younger. He he led the FCS in a couple of rankings, and this one kind of came out of nowhere. Also, I mean, he uh, didn't get heavily recruited out of St. Francis when he went into the portal. Mm-hmm. Nebraska was really his only Power Five Division One offer. But we also know that's how kind of Matt Rule and his staff operates at times, too, yep. is, is they'll go down to Texas, take some of the under-recruited guys like Dylan Rogers at linebacker, take some of the under-recruited guys. We saw it at Oklahoma, out of the state of Oklahoma before he transferred out. Eric Fields was a yep. monster for, for, for high school football down in the state mm-hmm. of Oklahoma and now obviously didn't unfortunately work out. But now they have they, they've, they've made a living already at Nebraska yep. taking some under-recruited guys and thinking that they can – you know, make them into into big time college football players. And then, and, and I, Bly Hill, I did, I'd say, not knowing a ton about him, like crazy athlete would be my guess too. Well, I, mean, they, I mean, who's the um six three? Does he look every bit of six three, Nick Bly Hill? I, I haven't seen him up close, but mm-hmm. I mean, he he fits in like he doesn't yeah. look out of place, and I think mm-hmm. that's a part of maybe what you look for also mm-hmm. in in spring. Because they got, I mean, they they got, they got some athletes. You got Tommy Hill. Mm-hmm. Bly Hill, 
Sugar y'all, Hill. Y'all have Heart Zog. <laughs> Sugar, Sugar Hill. <laughs> Heart Zog. And then um, what is what it what, what is the freak athlete? Charles Char or why am I forgetting his name? Defensive back. The dunk contest winner. Oh, Jeremiah Charles. Jeremiah, Jeremiah Charles. Charles. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you guys saw this, but on the chasing three, oh, or not? No, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't the chasing three. It was the um when they announced that the um the rattlesnake boys won. Gotcha. And he did a full like running, jumps up in the air, does a full in the air, it comes down like a backflip in his pad. Oh, good lord! In his pads. In his oh, <laughs> man, that means- insane, Ooh, freakish athlete. And so you, wow. so you're loading up back there, and then you got. The quarterback back there, you got Isaac Gifford, who, mm-hmm. I mean, by all accounts, I that's the guy that's just going to have a season this year. Comes back for a fifth year. He, um, how, he knows the defense. You know, it's he's going he's gonna to be a freak. You know, I was watching a clip last night. I'll say this. We'll go to break real quick, and we'll come back with some more sound bites. There was a uh, they were showing a clip on the news last night to where Nash was in people's ear holes. Oh yeah, one guy he told a guy run the drill again. That's what you want to see. And what we talked about he even goes in the coach's ear hole. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Terrence. <laughs> I, I, I like the fact that because we were what we were talking about regarding um, you know, basketball with Kentucky not having that per, those yeah. person or persons because they don't there's no culture there because they're one and done. Yeah. That's the beauty of having so many guys that came back from Nebraska in football this year to teach those guys this is what we're trying to reestablish here at Nebraska. And what you just did is not gonna cut it. Well, that's what's good to see. And one last thing, just more context on Bly Hill really quickly. Um, I, I mean, he you could somewhat pencil him in at this point to kind of be that guy across the way from Tommy Hill. I say that because we, we saw Malcolm Hartzog make, I think, I believe three starts at safety last season. He made he, he, Malcolm played a lot at corner, obviously. Yeah. But we also know that he, Evan Cooper sometimes cross trains guys yeah. uh, similar to Travis Fisher when he was here at Nebraska. But um, Tommy Hill's probably going to have one side locked down and then you're going to have, you know, cause you got to replace Quentin Newsom this year also in that secondary. Mm-hmm. So um, that, that secondary of, of potentially Bly Hill, Tommy Hill, um, Isaac Gifford, as we just talked about Malcolm Hartzog, you also have a couple of young, uh, younger guys that could potentially work their way into the rotation there as well. Think about this. You guys, Hartzog is going to be a soft made a junior this year. Yeah. Yeah. Still young. I remember, I, was, I remember him being baptized under fire at Purdue when nope. Coach Bush said, we're just going to let him play it out. Yep. Nope. And you look at where he's at now. It's almost like it seems like it was yesterday that he was just a freshman, but yet it seems like he's been here forever now because he's been playing well, for so long. Yep. Kind of reminds me like Tyrone T-Bird yeah. that played so young. He seemed yep. like he was here for the decade, yep. you know? Yeah. And, and I mean, Malcolm's coming off, Malcolm Hartzog coming off of a season where he posted uh, a 40, 40 tackles, I believe, which is a career high for yep. him. I, I believe he had six pass pass breakups or deflections. So I mean, the, there's they're coming off of a career season for for Malcolm Hartzog. And as yeah. an unnamed texter just text pointed out, Buford. Don't forget about Marquise yeah, Buford, absolutely. right? And you're Not, gonna have well, so so Marquise is such an interesting Marquise story. And Mario. Mario yeah, the yeah, Marquise is such an interesting story just because he basically missed the entire season last year. And people forgot. And people forgot that he exactly. got banged up in 2022 yeah. and just wasn't available in 2023. Um, so, I mean, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot of, of, uh, single just names that, that Nebraska has in that secondary that we know Tony white loves to, to be able to substitute often yeah, yeah. and Nebraska maybe is going to build in some depth on that defense. And when you have, when you have to, a lot of those guys that have knowledge of the defense, mm-hmm. then that's going to allow him to be, be a little bit more exotic with Play blitzes, free, right. blitzes and bringing corners and safeties and getting, getting crazy with that defense. So. I like it. Folks, more we're going to take a quick good. break. We'll be right back. We'll talk some more. we got some more sound bites to go over yesterday's uh, Nebraska's uh, practice. Uh, a few of the coaches as well. we got Foley, I believe, as well that will come on. Yep. We'll be back, folks. It's Wednesday. It's hump day. Thanks for riding with us. It's a ticket, 90.7. Whether you're looking for a place to stay for a concert at PBA, a Nebraska home game, or just a night on the town, the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket is the place for you. Enjoy an evening at one of many restaurants or bars within a short walking distance. Business travelers at the hotel will enjoy free high-speed internet access, a 24-hour business center, and large in-room workstations. And check out the Bistro, where you'll enjoy healthier food and beverage options, as well as high-tech conveniences. Book your room today at the Courtyard Lincoln Downtown Haymarket. Go hard, wild, pit, barbecue.
If the week's been too hectic to even think about dinner, or your family can't handle one more night of leftovers, then it's time to let Hogwild do the cooking. Hogwild's family packs are one heck of a good deal for a complete barbecue meal loaded with all the smoked meats, tasty sides, buns, and sauces you need to feed your family. Order online at GoHogWild.com. Hogwild Pit Barbecue, 3210 Cornhusker Highway in Lincoln. But don't be late, we close at 8. Discover the difference that expertise and experience can make in your real estate journey with Next Ag Appraisal and Realty. Whether you need an appraisal, sales, or farm management, Next Ag comes up with a solution with your legacy and goals in mind. Next Ag isn't just their name, it's your future. So why wait? Visit their website today at www.nextagrealestate.com or give them a call at 402-380-0432 and turn your dreams into reality. Your land, your legacy, their solution. Next Ag Appraisal and Realty. You can get diesel anywhere, but what about Atomic Diesel? That comes from Stern. Atomic Diesel is your solution to all your cold weather problems. Prevent clogged fuel filters, increase your fuel economy, and save money with Atomic Diesel. Contact Roger at Stern today by calling 1-800-477-2744 to see how Atomic Diesel and the rest of their line of fuels and lubricants can keep your operation running at max capacity. Sandhills Global is hiring. With their fast-paced, growing culture, they have hundreds of new openings in sales, marketing, traveling support, software development, web design, and more. Full-time roles offer a four-and-a-half-day work week, along with flexible internships in most areas. Career and internship opportunities are available at our global headquarters in Lincoln, Nebraska. Find your fit today at www.sandhills.jobs. Attention all Wings fans, 89 Cent Wings are back on Tuesdays at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Lincoln. Enjoy the best wings in town for boneless or traditional at a price that makes the whole family happy. And now at the Williamsburg Village Wings and Rings, you can enjoy $1.50 Tall Boys in Bud Light, Coors Light, Bush Light, and Michelob Ultra every day after 7 p.m. and all day on Sundays. Get to Wings and Rings today and make sure to stop by on Tuesdays for 89 Cent Wings. 93.7 The Ticket, Fox KFXL Weather. Brought to you by Bryant Air Conditioning, Heating, Electrical, and Plumbing. Your Lincoln forecast for today. We'll see lots of sunshine to go along with light winds. Happening high around 67. Tonight, mainly clear with calm winds. In the low around 40. And tomorrow, we'll see mainly sunny skies and more mild temperatures. And happening high around 70. I'm meteorologist Kyle Fletcher for 93.7 The Ticket. And the TicketFM.com. Southeast Community College invites you to check out our spaces ahead of your official campus visit. Our virtual campus tours let you see our campuses and learn more about our programs of study. Then you can schedule your individual visit in person or virtually. Virtual tours of our campuses in Beatrice, Lincoln, or Milford, and our learning centers are online at southeast.edu slash visit SCC. SCC, your path to possible. Rashawn Jackson here for Bauer Infrastructure, a veteran-owned local company proudly serving Lincoln, Lancaster County, and the surrounding areas. Bauer provides quality work at an affordable price, and they're growing rapidly. If you want to experience a career with a fast-paced, family-friendly environment, visit BauerInfrastructure.com. They have top-of-the-line benefits year-round work, even through the winter. Bauer, usher in the new era of infrastructure to an area near you. And as always, go Big Red! <gasps> the Mill Coffee and Tea, formerly with only four Lincoln locations. Guess what? What? There's five Lincoln locations now. Oh my gosh. That's 25% more Lincoln locations than there used to be. Can you even imagine a world where there's only four Lincoln Mill locations? Feels like ages ago. We were all so young then. <sighs> the Mill on 11th, located right alongside 93.7 The Ticket Studios, 1040 O Street. Hi, Sean Callahan here for Couple Chevrolet GMC, and our annual spring sales event is now underway. We have absolutely huge savings right now at Couple. New Sierras and new Silverados have a double whammy. 
Choose from APR starting at 1.9% or discounts over 9,000. Yes, that's right. 1.9% APR or discounts of over 9,000. So please take that short money-saving drive down 144th Street just south of the interstate or check us out online at cowpocars.com. You'll be glad you did. All deals with approved credit. Banking should feel personal, not intimidating. At Western National Bank, we're about real connections. Founded by two ordinary guys with an extraordinary vision to know each and every customer personally. Fees, they suck. Avoid all fees with Western National Bank's Compass Checking Account. No monthly fees, no minimum balances, and get this, 5.12 APY on the first $1,000. Open your Compass Checking Account online in five minutes or less at mywnb.com. Experience the difference with Western National Bank. Visit mywnb.com. Member FDIC. Houses? They're expensive. And once you buy one, you're kind of stuck with it for a while. You need to make sure you get your best house for the best price. You need Ben Bleicher and his team of pros at Professional Realty Group. They'll take the time to figure out what's important for you in your dream home, and they have the expertise to find the hidden issues that could surprise you after the sale. That's professional knowledge, proactive service. We call that potential. Ben Bleicher and the team at Professional Realty Group of Berkshire Hathaway's Home Service Ambassador. Find more online at prg-ne.com. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody, we are back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. And before we get to more Nebraska football, it is National Siblings Day today. So happy National Siblings Day to my sister Susie down in League City, Texas. League yes. City, Texas. Yes, National Siblings Day. My Facebook member was looking at kind of money to throw something there. Happy Siblings Day to my brother Mark, who's here in Lincoln. Brother Dan, who's here in Lincoln. My sister, Michelle, who's in Gainesville, Florida. My sister, Emily, that's in Tallahassee, Florida. They got the heck out of the cold. <laughs> and they ain't uh, coming back. <laughs> Nick, what else we got? We got Foley right. on there. Oh, Nick, you're not even going to wish your sister a happy siblings day? Happy siblings day to my sister, Andrea. There very nice, Nick. That seemed like that was very <laughs> painful. Do you Gen- like your sister? I do. <laughs> I do like, like it was forced, Rab, didn't I know. it? Well, cause, cause, uh, I wanted to do it on my own time. It was going to be Nick's good take today, but we just decided to do it today. <laughs> <laughs> just decided to do it beforehand. Nick's good take. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, let's uh, let's talk about Tristan Alvano, uh, the kicking game, right? Ed Foley, here we go. Um, let's see here. Let's do coaching Alvano. While giving him confidence, here we go with Ed Foley. Yeah, and, and you know, that's how coaching is now, and in, in, you know, in this day and age, really, with just just about everybody. But you know, at, in a situation where you're starting a freshman, it's it's especially evident. But there's a fine line between you know pushing and and and, and backing off, and you know, and encouraging, and you know, getting them to you know, get them to stay focused. So uh, that's the hardest part about coaching you know, with and any guy, you know, the guys in your room. Uh, whether I was coaching the tight ends or the O line or now now special teams, they all have kind of different approaches and different buttons to push or different ways to motivate them to get them to perform. So most of it was was it, you know with with Tristan and with with the guys nowadays, there's not a lot of like you know pushing them to become more intense. It's really the other part of it. They're so like uh, obsessive at times with with their craft that you know and and our, everything that they do is out in front of the whole world now it's not like when, when you know when we played it was like you could make a mistake and no, no, nobody cared or nobody knew now it's like you know they put so much pressure with this social media identity that they have um that they, they're putting a lot of pressure on themselves i can't even imagine like if you think about tristan right so he's 18 years old he's been coming to the stadium since he's been five years old with his with his grandfather and you know he goes through his whole life like he's watching from the stands for 15 years and now all of a sudden you know he he goes he goes into what's the 13th grade 
and he's now on the field kicking. Like, can you guys even imagine what that would be like? I mean, it's like you put yourself in those shoes and it's like, you know, wow. Yeah. But, but he's, he's really good. Like Tristan's really good with like, he's intense. He's locked in, he's focused and he can miss one. And then he, he can flush it and he can take a breath and he can get himself back to that square one. And he rarely misses two in a row. Like if he misses one, um, you know, he's, he's fixing it and it's, it's on to the next one. He's really like for a young kid, he's got like really good maturity that way. It's a long winded answer from Ed Foley. Um, <laughs> I'm, on... I'm sitting there thinking to myself, just make the kicks. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, I mean, that's, that's part of it. Right. Uh, and so Tristan Alvano last year, 60% field goal kicker, unfortunately. And, and he, he mentioned part of that of the whole, you know, trying to figure out a way to, um, uh, you know, get comfortable in Memorial Stadium, nine of fifteen last year. Now the good thing, and and this was not always a given in previous years, um, under previous regimes, twenty seven of twenty seven on extra points, mm-hmm. not a single missed extra point. Nice. Little things like that do matter, yep. right? Because then when they don't go through the uprights, then it's you know it's even worse the situation. Nine of fifteen kicking last year. Um, didn't feel like Nebraska kicked a lot of field goals last year. It felt like they were pretty aggressive sometimes on fourth downs. Um, but having that kind of safety net in your back pocket is is such a crucial yeah. uh, benefit because guys, we remember it when when I mean obviously you guys remember the Browns and and I remember Alex Henry and Kevin Seibel. And when you have that in your back pocket, man, to to go out there and say, all right, send a guy out there from forty five in and no you got a 95% chance of making this kick. You, you feel pretty good about your chances there. You know, like I said, I, I obviously none of us can predict the future, but I will say this. You look at 9 of 16 last year, okay? Miss, missed some kicks last year, obviously. I'd rather him take his bumps early. You know what I'm saying? Take those yeah. growing pains early. By the time he finishes up here, if he decides yeah. to finish up here again, to your point, Raph, He's been through that already. I, I p- p- personally prefer someone to take their bruises early on. I, and I'll say it again. I'll say it with Riola. Take those licks early. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Learn those lessons early. Get your scars early. Kind of like that old saying, your scars become your stars. You learn from those things. You know, and, 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 and he was not immune to it. I, I, I bottled, he, he struggled at times last year. But I'd rather that happen his freshman year than his senior year. Yeah. You know, and, and think about it as well. Last year, was there pressure? Yeah, but you know what? You had the pressure. It was like, well, he's a freshman. Okay. Well, now he's going to be a sophomore. He's got some scars. He's got some pain, the things he's been through. I'll tell you another guy that we thought so, that ended up being pretty well, too, not as far as kicker. Look at Cam Jurgens. Yeah. Cam Jurgens, think about this. From what he was at, do you ever think he'd be the, one of the uh, most likely the starting center yeah. for the Philadelphia Eagles this year coming up? Yeah. Heck no. You go back to that Iowa game, people could talk about the clap all they want. Yeah. They were still balling. I told little brother's face. There, there were times he was wondering, man, can I do this? Yep. Yeah. But he stuck with it. He took his scars early. Look where he's at now. Does That's that, one does of those that, things. Does that equate to Tristan? No, but what I'm simply saying is I like when guys struggle early. Get those things. Get yeah. those bruises early. Yep. And then it'll be interesting to see in the spring game the attention to the special teams because you're going to have a new long snapper this year. And it's, you're going to have a chance to kick with, with people in the yeah. crowd. And actually, because I always think it's so much different kicking in that stadium with nobody there than with oh, people yeah. there. I'm sure. Even even well, just just the viewpoint of having oh, people behind the goalposts. Everything, yeah. man. So it's like, to, I hope there's a lot of attention to detail put on the special teams in the spring game. So so to your point, um, I, I did think Ed Foley made a good point about the whole social media piece of it, right? Yeah. Everybody knows now yeah. when you make a, or yep. make or miss a kick. Um, yep. oh, Raph, on Raph, the spot. <laughs> I wanted I wanted to talk about this nonetheless. Long snapping, real quickly before we go to break, yep. um, because Nebraska's. Frankly, something that we haven't talked about. Long snapping hasn't been an issue at Nebraska. Marco Marco Ortiz, the for, future or former Florida Gator, did a pretty good job of that yep. last year. He's now gone. It's Camden with Tucky's job to have. Um, here is talking of Ed Foley real quickly. It's just a little over a minute long. Um, Ed Foley talking about Camden with Tucky and him learning from the former Husker long snapper Marco Ortiz. Marco set the trend last year and, you know, Marco was, a, was a consummate pro. We were really fortunate to get him. Um, and, and he's done really well out in the circuit and got himself invited to, you know, different, um, you know, combines and a lot of NFL teams are looking at him right now. So, you know, for, for Camden to be able to, to work with him uh, last year was really critical and got a really, not just a sense of like, you know, how to snap the football, but also how to, you know, how to perfect your craft. I mean, Marco was working all the time 
Well, you know, you, you guys understand, like, they're trying not just to get the ball to the holder. They're trying to get the ball to the holder so the holder can just take it and, and put it down and doesn't have to move the laces at all. So I, mean, I think Marco is as good a short snapper as I've worked with, you know, and, and he was great with that. And he was meticulous about the details. And for for Camden to see that was was really cool. So, you know, he had a good year experience behind Marco. And now he's, you know, he's got he's to gotta step up and do it. So there you go. Camden Watucky is now the long snapper. But once again, I mean, that's that's an issue. There haven't been issues with field goal snaps, right? Mm -hmm. Like a snap, like like Ed fully talked about the short snaps. Punters haven't necessarily had issues handling footballs. And maybe with the kicking piece of it, they've struggled at times mm -hmm. over the last couple of years. But from the long from the snapping standpoint, hasn't been that big of an issue. Yep. And and when you and that's one of those things, as we know, going back to Cameron Jerkins, kind of bringing this whole full circle. If you're not talking about it, it's a good thing. Yep. I, was just, I was just going to say that. Thing. I hope by the end of the year, you ask me who the long snapper is, and I'm like, uh, what, 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 something? Yep. Because if I know his name, there, there, there was a problem. There you <laughs> go. All right, gentlemen, we got two things left to do, and that's Raf's good take and AD attitude adjustment. Raf, take us away. All right. We'll throw it a break. This is the drive. 93.7. The take it. Fairway Meat Market, your family. And as part of the family, they want to save you money on your meat and groceries. Now through April 14th, enjoy USDA Choice 8-ounce bacon wrap sirloins for $3.99 each. USDA Choice Tri-Tip for $9.99 per pound. One dozen large eggs for $1.98 when you purchase two. And 24 packs of Miller Light or Coors Light for $15.99 with the purchase of two. That's all at Fairway Meat Market in the Rockledge Square Shopping Center, just south of 84th and Van Dorn. Rico here with HIS Auto Care at 70th and Van Doren, letting you know HIS is a great place to bring your vehicle for service. With superior service, bumper to bumper, we'll treat your vehicle like it's your mother's. Doesn't get any better than that. So call 402-488-8934 and HIS Auto will make you glad you did. 5% off, mention this ad, and for sure your mother will be proud you called. 402-488-8934, HIS Auto Care, 70th and Van Doren. God bless you. Your home is your empire. Protect it with Empire Fence. Get a free instant quote with the online estimating tool at empire-fence.com. See an upfront estimate with no hidden fees. An Empire Fence can provide privacy and improve the appearance of your home. Keep kids and pets in or out of your yard. Increase security and add value to your property. Visit empire-fence.com now to view the stylish and maintenance-free possibilities for your home and get a free instant online quote. Let Empire Fence protect your empire. Community means something different to everyone. But for me, it means cheering on those around you during the good times and helping them out during the tough times. I'm softball player Jordy Ball, and I've been blessed with the support of my friends, family, coaches, and community throughout my life. When looking for a bank to call home, it was easy to choose Midwest Bank. I never feel like just another customer, and they're proud to support their communities. They love what they do, and it shows. Your community, your bank, Midwest Bank. Are you looking to get into the electrical construction industry or wanting a new scene? The electrical workers of Local Union 265 are now hiring licensed journeymen and apprentices and are offering great pay and benefits. Call Mike at 402-875-1034 to apply. Start your electrical career today. At Doan University, we build leaders. And that means your success and achievements come first. At Doan University, your future is uniquely yours. And our world-class liberal arts education is just the beginning. We invite you to schedule your campus visit and experience why Doan University will start you on your journey to your future career. Learn more by scheduling your personal campus visit today at doan.edu slash visit. See you soon. Start your Sundays off right with Jeff and Nicole Essink on Fitness Fanatics. Jeff and Nicole discuss health and wellness, how to achieve fitness goals, and more through the life of gym owners and gym goers. It's Fitness Fanatics from 9 to 11 a.m. on Sundays on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. Hi, this is State Senator Carolyn Bozin. As a state senator, wife, and mom, I believe Lincoln is a great place to work and raise a family. My husband Reggie and I are local family business owners and actively involved in our community. Last year, I voted for the largest property tax relief package in Nebraska history. 
property tax relief is important to every family, and I will continue to deliver more property tax relief to working families. This is Carolyn Bosin, and I am asking for your vote on May 14th. Paid for by Bosin for Legislature. Ever wish you had another light switch on the other side of the room on a dark night? How much better would you sleep at night if you had a ceiling fan in your room? The High Electric Service Department is here to make your electrical what-ifs a reality. Whether you're looking to replace some outdated light fixtures or brighten up your counters with under-cabinet lighting, High Electric can handle all types of residential electrical installations and services. Give Erica a call at 402-466-6606 or visit high-electric.com to get started. This is Lincoln's home for sports talk on the FM dial. Also online at theticketfm.com. On the internet. KNTK FM first. 93.7 The Ticket. Now back to The Drive with A.D., Raph, and Amon Green on 93.7 The Ticket and theticketfm.com. All right, everybody. We're back again. This is The Drive on 93.7 The Ticket. It is Wednesday. This segment is proudly sponsored by Four Hills Italian Restaurant and Grill. Just south of Lincoln Southwest High School on 14th and Pine Lake Road, Floyd's Italian Restaurant provides a cozy, family-friendly oh, <laughs> friendly setting where good food and good company come together. <laughs> All you have to do is visit floridsne.com or call 402-423-5576 to make reservations or place takeout orders. I had a brain freeze there. I was like, where am I at? <laughs> My man Rob said, Oh, <laughs> am, I in, am I in Lincoln? Where am I? In Alabama. Whoa, who's that? <laughs> it's Farley. Terrell Farley, the black shirt. The black shirt. How black you guys shirt. doing? Terrell, what's happening, big dog? Oh, nice to, nice to get a chance to be on y'all show for a couple of minutes and shoot the breeze with you guys and yeah, man. see how everybody's life going right now. Yes, Nick's doing great. New car. <laughs> Nice ride. Yeah. yeah. That is true. That is true. <laughs> money, 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 money. Catch me rolling. <laughs> rolling dirty. <laughs> not true. <They> not. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm in a fishbowl, though, because the windows aren't tinted. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you, but you, I know what ADC, you're riding dirty because you ain't got no tags yet. So, you know. <laughs> I do not have, I do not have a tag. So you're yet. riding dirty. <laughs> I suppose not. Yep. <laughs> anyway. Um, all right, Farley, how, how's it going, man? So spring ball's underway, um, fully going. Uh, we're, we're less than, I guess, 17 days away from, from the spring game. How, how much do you read into all the, the reports coming out of spring practice? Well, um, I, I went to practice Saturday. So okay. it was a um, great practice session. I like the way Coach Rue has everybody on the go everybody's doing something even the injured guys who, mm-hmm. who's in the non-contact jersey yeah. so that's the green jersey even they was over there doing their own drills but you know i i think that the quarterback situation probably is gonna i know that they a lot of people want to give it to riola but the throws i seen daniel kaylin made was some of the best yeah. throws that nobody made last year so <laughs> you know and uh especially with riola he has an arm too so yeah you know, I, I expect that to be a good battle going into camp. I mean, either way it go, I think both of them will play a little bit, especially the second guy will play a little bit this year. But for me, I'd rather probably go another route and probably one of those guys got a red shirt yeah, to me. We were talking about that a bit too. Yeah. I, you know, I, I think we should at least just go in the portal and get a capable guy just who, who can just throw. We don't want a runner. We want somebody who just who can just be a backup. You know, TF, you got that, you got that four games. You know, obviously, before the guys, five games actually, before they can declare for a red shirt. Um, and with as rugged and as physical as the Big Ten is, I mean, knock on the countertop, we hope yeah. we don't lose anybody to injury, but you know, yeah. the numbers game, it gets dicey at times. And to your point, I would love to see one of those guys. I, most, we know it ain't going to be Riola. I'm, I'm just yeah. going to say, well, that's just, in today's shirt. new age of college football, you can't, you cannot red shirt. Dylan Rayola, and he'll he'll be gone next year. And I think the same would almost go for Daniel Kalen in today's age of college football. If a, if a team's looking for a quarterback, they're gonna and they're, they're gonna come. I mean, it, this is new age college football. It is, it, it is one year contracts. What do you mean, Arch Manning? He's still at Texas. I was, that, I, was that, say, I think, the, I think, but also, I think that's, a, that's an exception though, because he he gets so much money. He gets I think, so much money. I think it's important to remember Daniel Kalen's recruitment too. Um, committed to Missouri first. Com- commits to Missouri after Nebraska fully went in on the Dylan Raiola train. 
way back when Dylan Riola mm-hmm. said no of, uh, initially went to Georgia or was planning to go to Georgia. And then Nebraska goes back on the door after Daniel Kalen commits to Missouri. And, and after Dylan Riola yeah. says no, and Dylan, Daniel Kalen instantly comes to Nebraska, changes it up within a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. Then you have the case of, it looked like Daniel Kalen was going to be Nebraska's quarterback. And then just a couple of days before signing day, here you have it. Dylan Riola back on the market for Nebraska football. And Daniel Kalen decommits, thought about going to Michigan State, had some other opportunities, maybe lower schools, lower, maybe even non-Power 5 opportunities. Mm -hmm. And he still ends up in Nebraska, where he's going to be competing against the number one recruit, quarterback recruit out of high school. So I I think that, speaking of redshirt, let's be, I mean, to your point, AD, yeah, Dylan Ryle is not going to be that one taking that redshirt. He's not redshirt. And so I I think, and and Daniel Kalen is smart enough to understand the, the situation of, all right, I know there's certainly probably more hype around Dylan Riola, but I just need to prove that I do belong here. I like I like the moxie that he showed by by staying. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to come back and just compete. I'm going to flip the script a little bit, uh, to real. I'm going to switch it to the defense, the practice you went to, because I know you like me. I don't you know, go to a lot of practices, just want to see it on the field, et cetera. But was there anything on the defense that stood out to you, whether it be intensity, leadership, uh, the way they're flying to the ball. Was there anything that stuck out to you when you watching practice? Yeah, running to the ball. But um, I think me watching the linebackers, I think the linebacker group is better than what we think they are. They um, mm. they have multiple guys that probably can come in and play. Then you have a, a freshman in sh- uh, Shavers. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vincent Shavers. Jr. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good. He just sound like a baller, too. Yeah, but <laughs> the number they gave him, you know, for a guy that, that probably weighs as much as I weighed in college, 205, mm-hmm. You don't give a guy like that a number in the fifties. Did he want that number? I don't know, but he got fifty one. So <laughs> well, maybe, maybe, he'll, maybe maybe he'll earn a single digit number. <laughs> Look like one of those little kids on my giant. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know, <laughs> maybe he'll earn that single but, digit number. I think that group um, of linebackers that they're they're young. They're they can get better. They got to want to get better. They got to understand defense first. I think Michael Booker the third. Mm. is probably going to make an impact for a young guy who picked up 20 pounds, mm. who was a corner. I haven't seen him in a while, man. And also, uh, Toby, Javen Wright, Jay, hey, Buddha, Buddha. you still got Bullock coming mm-hmm. back. You, you still, I mean, you got a good group of guys. You know, you, you're you probably six to eight deep at linebacker mm-hmm. right now, probably where you want to be at, probably three deep more likely mm-hmm. in real life. But if you're too deep like that, and and you want to use multiple sets, you got to go with with what you got. And I think right. they they doing a good job of what they have right now. Um, and I think you just use uh, shav- shivers shavers on blitz and downs. You, you know, you you let them learn slow. Just don't throw them out there and let them go haywire. You know what, Raph, what Terrell just said too goes to the point you were spot- you were talking about earlier to where having that many linebackers as you mentioned, Terrell. You know, Tony White can have. Can be it can is a lot of options. Yep, he can bring it in waves, which you what you definitely want in fresh bodies. Because sometimes you yeah. think about last year. Sometimes between plays, you'd see six, seven guys moving in and out quick. Yep. Oh yeah, I mean, in just different sets, different looks, very exotic, and just like I don't want to be fresh though. I want to play. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You absolutely. know, I, I, absolutely. I, I, me this day I, in age, I'll probably be mad. I probably go have to say something to Coach White. Like, nah, you probably wouldn't come off the field yeah, much, though, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't have to. You were di- different. You were different. Charlie, you were different. Char- Char- different. Charlie, Charlie different. don't. No, Charlie don't believe in like you gonna you gonna take that nine play drive yeah. and get them off the field. You gonna yeah. take that six play drive. Uh, but I don't wave myself off before. Like, hey, I'm, come get I need me. A breather. Yeah, but you know when to come. But if that's the way Coach White plays his defense, then right. that's a good thing for them. Yeah. It but stat-wise, they won't they won't have yeah. good stats. The most important stat, which, like you said, we'll have is that hopefully that, 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 w. that w. That yeah. w. That's right. Yeah. All right, folks. We this is our spillover. We're gonna start doing this on more on a regular basis. Spillover with uh, with, with Terrell getting his insight and just talking like we always do. It's yeah. always good to hear Terrell's insight on it, especially I, I, I kinda, since I got kicked out the cigar club. You know, Nick <laughs> took my spot. You know, I haven't taken anybody's spot. Yeah. I don't go anymore. <laughs> we yeah. You Whatever. Were, well, if you ever gave me your phone number, Terrell, we'd work on that. His Terrell, phone, his phone's mysteriously broken. It is 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 getting fixed today. Terrell is the founder <laughs> again. Of, he's one of the founding again. members. Yeah. Never kicked out. One of the founding yeah. members. Rap, what did you got for RGT, my man? All right, today's RGT. You have any guesses who this might be? Ad <laughs> goes out to Carrie Manning. Carrie, 
it is awesome. I had Coach Mark Manning's wife, of course, but Carrie is like, I was thinking about this today. Have you ever seen Carrie in a bad mood? No. No. Like, always smiling. Always smiling. Always happy. Breath of fresh air, man. The, the, the mother of the Nebraska wrestling. I mean, you'd see her, you know, always there, always support Nebraska wrestling. Um, she does have that little downfall where she likes the Sooners a little bit. Yeah. But that's, uh, that's home for too. Yeah. So but but other that. than that, other than that, Carrie, wishing you a very happy birthday. And you are Raph's good take. Her and Mark are just like we talked about before. You got good people and you got excellent people. Those are excellent people right there. The 80 Attitude Adjustment is sponsored by Integrated Life Choices. IOC is hiring for direct support professionals all over the state of Nebraska, full-time, part-time days, evenings, and weekends. Help ensure meaningful life for the people you support and help them achieve their hopes and dreams. Apply at IOC.net backslash careers. Folks, remember who stood by your side as you rebuilt yourself. Those are your people. Remember who stood by your side as you rebuilt yourself. Those are your people. Um, and all of us in this room, have times in our lives to where we're at our ups and downs. Remember who stood by our side when we built our people. And I can say, I teach one of you brothers in here right now. I uh, appreciate all of you. Remember those people who stood by you, folks, who are still standing by you when you're going through tough times or have been through tough times. I remember my, my dad's funeral, Raph and uh, Jack. Man, they, they and black funerals last a long time. All right. That was my first one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was only black friends, uh, besides Terrell. But it was <laughs> Great. Yeah, great. <laughs> you walked into that one, no, bro. You know. walked right into that one. But Jack and a number of other, but those guys stood <laughs> there for the entirety of it. And the difficult times I've been through during this grief journey and trying to, you know, uh, get back on my feet again. Appreciate, of course, little boy, to, uh, little brother Terrell and everybody. Remember those people who stood by your side when you were building yourself, folks. Those are your people. Hold them tight. All right. Raffi, take us home. All right, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Remember, be nice got to the each captain other. Show next. And we got Terrell Farley and the captain next on 93.7 The Ticket. <laughs>